Hello. I am a process engineer from Microtech Engineering Group in Australia. I am going to present you a typical cornstarch production process based on wet milling method. This process is for 300 tons per day input corn which is a medium scale processing line. Hope this presentation gives you a general idea of cornstarch production process. Actually, Microtech is professional supplier of starch processing system and engineering from capacities as small as 20 tons per day up to 1000 tons per day input corn. Microtech has the ability of giving varieties of services in starch and starch sweeteners industry. The following is a brief introduction to Microtech services. Stay with me to see what Microtech can offer. Microtech offers services of engineering, design, processing technology and supplying machinery and equipment in the following areas. 1. Starch processing lines including wheat starch, corn starch, potato starch and starch lines from corn flour. 2. Starch sweetener processing lines including glucose, fructose 42 and fructose 55. 3. Bioplastic processing lines including starch tableware, starch bag and starch cutlery. 4. Modified starch processing line including pre-gelatinized, oxidized and etc. sure how familiar are you with cornstarch production process. But now, we are going to have a simple description of cornstarch production process. Below is a real photo of a cornstarch production line which is taken from starch and gluten separation unit. system is corn cleaning. The purpose of corn cleaning is to remove impurities such as iron, sand, stone etc. from corn. Corn is transferred into pre-cleaner, magnet separator through bucket elevators respectively in order to remove foreign materials and obtain clean corn. Acid preparation. Acid preparation is required for corn steeping section which I am going to explain in the next slide of my presentation. Below show a general so to burning system in order to prepare required acid for corn steeping purpose. Steeping unit. Corn is soaked in water at a controlled temperature normally about 50 degrees Celsius for approximately 30 to 50 hours. Sulfur dioxide is added to prevent bacterial growth and to reduce the bond between gluten and starch. This batch steeping process occurs in large tanks fitted with side entry agitator units. The purpose of steeping is to soften and condition the corn kernel for subsequent milling and to prevent germination and fermentation. Corn grinding and germ separation. Corn is transferred into first stage disc mill and broken into four to six pieces. The disc mill, which consists of studded drums rotating in opposite directions, is designed to crack the corn kernel separating the starch without damaging the corn germ. Kernels not fully opened are ground in a second mill as required. Second. 
second milling. The goal of the second milling section is to remove the bound starch from the fibre. This should be done with as little damage to the fibre as possible. An increase in the amount of milling of the fibre lowers the bound starch but also increases the amount of fine fibre. separation and washing. Fibre is separated from starch and gluten and washed using washing system. Fibre washing system consists of couple of curl pressure screens. Gluten separation, gluten to watering and drying. Gluten is separated from starch using disc separate machine. Then is the water using filtration system, like vacuum filter, as you see in picture below, or filter press. Dehydrated gluten is dried by bundle dry machine which uses steam as heating media for drying process. Now it is time to do process on extracted starch. Starch washing, dehydration and drying. Separated starch from gluten needs to be washed using hydrocyclone washing system in order to remove impurities including protein and fiber. Refined starch then is dehydrated using a centrifugal peeler or a vacuum drum filter machine and is sent to starch flash dryer for drying to required moisture before packing. Fibre and germ to watering and drying. Wet fibre and germ, being the water using screw press system before drying in bundle dryers. All right. All I explained was a brief description on cornstarch production process. For more information regarding starch processing system, you can visit our website at www.microteco.com. Below is showing an incomplete 3D model of a cornstarch processing system which is designed by Microtech Engineering Team. This design is based on the limitation from the client on space and arrangement. Now I am going to give you some detailed information regarding a 300 tons per day cornstarch processing system that you might be interested or thinking of. It is general information regarding required energy, land and building, as well as products and by-products yields. As you see on your screen, required insulated electricity is about 2500 kilowatt. Required water is about 30 cubic meters per hour. Required steam is around 16 tons per hour. Required land and buildings. Total land. About 25,000 square meter. Production workshop about 3,000 square meter. Storage required area for products and by-products needs to be around 4,000 square meter.
products and byproducts yields. Your screen shows starch, gluten, germ, fopper and corn slurry yields. As you can see, total extraction rate could be around 99%, which is quite high rate and this is big advantage of corn starch line in comparison to wheat starch line. Alright. I think we all are tired now. If you are an investor, would like to know more about starch processing lines cost, or if you currently have a factory and are in need of consultation, or you just need to know more about starch and bioplastic industry, simply call one of our offices in your country. If we don't have any office in your country, Please call any other Microtech offices close to your country and get free consultation. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thanks for being with us and watching this presentation. Good luck and bye for now.